Hi Champions, League of Legends Wild Rift has released their mid-patch updates. They've tuned some champions and adjusted a few items. Let's jump right into it. We have Champions, Jin. Jin has been overperforming in every phase of the game, so we are reducing some of his power in general. His traps also gave him too much guaranteed utility when he should be using them as a combo with his second ability, Deadly Flourish. His base stats have been reduced, so reduce his uh, attack speed, attack speed growth, attack speed level, like all the base stats have been changed. Then we have his third ability, Captive Audience. His slow has been reduced to 30%. Curtain Call, his fourth ability, his cooldowns has been increased. So Jin, no. Varus. Varus is buffed, so no more Mr. Weak Varus. Time to bring this Blight Boy more in line with the other marksmen. His movement speed got increased. His second ability cooldown has been decreased, buff duration increased, damage and health increased. Then we have Ezreal. Ezreal has been dishing out some strong damage while staying safe, a little too safe. We pulled back his damage a little more and increased his third ability, Arcane Shift cooldown, so jumping into a fight is riskier. So now Ezreal can be punished easier. Um, his Rising Spells Force attack speed increased. Well, the attack speed per stack, sorry, has been decreased. Mythic shot damage has been decreased and Arcane Shift cooldown has been increased. Then we have Akali. Akali has been especially weak since her release. We've given her some better ways to survive the laning phase and capitalize on outplays like the rogue assassin she is. So base stats, armor has been increased. Assassin's mark movement speed has been increased. Twilight Shroud, his second ability, has the cooldown has been decreased and the bonus movement speed has been increased. And then her third ability, the range has been increased. So a big buff for Akali. Very big buff for Akali. Okay, now we have Evelyn. It's playtime, we are giving Eve a little more range on her one. Hate spikes, she can easily land charms and contribute to long fights. So Evelyn has been buffed. Her first ability range has been increased. Her AP ratio has been increased. Just a, a, a smaller buff than the other champions that have been buffed. Then we have Amumu. Amumu. Oh gosh, my games with Amumu have been pretty sad. But Amumu has been nerfed. The sad mummy's meltdowns are getting a little out of control. We wanted to tone down his damage a bit and offer some breathing room to opponents that get caught in his curse. So his second ability, Despairs, the damage has been decreased. The curse of the sad mummy, mummy his, for, uh, his ultimate, sorry, the sun duration has been... Also, now they have it in increments, so it goes by rank now. Instead of having the flat out 2 second sun duration, you will have to rank it up and then it will increase. Blitzcrank. Now, Blitzcrank is, in my opinion, very, very, very strong. Like, if I had to put him in a tier list, he would be definitely in the S tier. Blitzcrank, you can always count on Blitzcrank to lend a hand. But lately, he's been a bit too reliable as a source of engagement for his team. We've tuned his reliability down a lot so opponents can punish him when he makes a mistake. So his base stats have been changed. And his mana shield cooldown has been, oh my gosh. It's gone from 50 seconds to 80 seconds. His rocket grab projector width oh, has also decreased. So it's a 1.5 to 1 second. Oh, sorry, not 1 second, 1 width. And his damage has been nerfed as well. And overdrive, the, slow, the self slow duration has been increased. That is a huge nerf to Blitzcrank. I'm very curious to see how he does now. But he was really, really, really strong. I did make a guide about him recently, but it looks like I'll have to change a bit because he has been nerfed. Next, Lee Sin. Lee Sin, was it Lee Shin? I'm not too sure, but Lee Sin should fall off more as the game progresses. So we've scaled back the mobility and survivability he gets in the mid game from maxing his second ability safeguard. Even a blind fighting monk needs a weakness. So Lee Shin has been um, nerfed. Second ability, the cooldown has been increased, so instead it just stays at 15 seconds. So before upgrading it would decrease the cooldown, they have kept it at 15. His shield value has decreased, his damage for this ability as well has um, decreased, and the, the vamp has decreased. Gragas. Gragas, ever since we adjusted his fourth ability, explosive cast, missile speed, Gragas has been really turned his life around and became a reliable champ, but we'd rather have him disrupting the enemy team 
then blowing them all up instantly. We reverted some of our prior buffs to keep him in check. So Gravis has, oh Gragas, sorry, has been nerfed. His base stats his, have been changed. His barrel roll, the AP ratio has decreased. Drunken Rage cooldown has increased. And his ultimate AP ratio has been decreased. So those are the nerfs and the buffs for the champions. I'm very, very interested to see how they'll play now. Next, we have items. We have anti-tank items. Tank items have felt a bit, a bit weak lately, and we noticed that the last Whisper and Mortal Reminder were making it too easy to counter such builds. We are turning, we are tuning these two down for now, and we'll keep an eye on how tank builds perform. So the last Whisper item, Armor Penetration, is 20% to 15% Mortal Reminder. That is an item I use so often. <laughs> Armor Penetration, 35% to 30%. That's going to change the builds a bit actually. So active items, we'd like to see more active item diversity. So we've made some changes to buff new strategies and nerf those are, that are too easy to pick up. So teleport enchant, the cost has, they took off 200 gold off the cost of teleport enchant. Stasis enchant, another 200 gold off and quick silver enchant, 500 to 800. So they've increased that one because apparently too many people are buying this one. Then we have game systems. Experience sharing. We've seen your feedback, thank you, that the game has felt too dependent on the duo lane snowballing. We've tuned down the amount of experience champions can share to draw some focus to the other lanes. So shared experience is now 150% to 140% and XP gained from minions in duo lanes has been decreased by 5%. Smite. So smite is um, pretty good. <laughs> We're all full of wild creative strategy strategies, but taking smite as a laner is something we like to discourage for the health of the game. It skews the jungle meta and can lead to less interactive laning. For those reasons, smite now reduces XP gained from killing minions by 20% for the first 5 minutes of the game. Then we have the jungle, monsters. More ganks, more picks. We've increased respawn time on some jungle objectives to give teams more time and opportunity to outplay their opponents before hustling off to the next objective. Baron Nasha, respawn time, 180 seconds to 210 seconds, and the Scuttle Crab, 120 seconds to 150 seconds. So those, that's the mid-patch updates. Um, there is still the whole, the previous patch as well. I'll have this link down in the comments below if you want to have a look at that. But yeah. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about these buffs and these nerfs to the items and to the champions. I also make a bunch of champion guides which I'll let which I'll leave down in the comments below if you want an Ari guide, Blitz guide, Darius guide and an Ash guide. That's what I have so far and I'm working on my next guide already. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Subscribe and click the bell for more Wild Rift videos. Like the video if you found this interesting and I hope to see you again for the next Wild Rift video. Bye!